So in this video, I'm going to talk about the field mapping feature in Dynamics 365. This feature is out of the box feature provided by Microsoft, which allows us to copy data from one field to another field automatically. We may be having different fields, uh, different tables like contact, uh, lead, opportunity, and some other the uh, custom uh, custom table as well. So if we are trying to, uh, if we have already created one uh, contact and we are creating some uh, lead or case from the same contact, in that case we have to provide the details again in that new lead, which we have already given in the case. So in so the requirement is like whatever the detail is already available in the contact. We should not have to enter it again and again. So for this, we are going to use field mapping feature. This feature uh, makes data entry easier by removing the need to enter data again and again, which can take a lot of time. And sometimes we may also uh, enter wrong values or wrong uh, details. So with this field mapping, we can we can specify a relation between those. Uh, tables like a bit from contact to lead or from contact to case or from contact to XYZ and then we can select the relevant fields for mapping and then it will be automatically copied from one to another one. So this feature uh, if I show, uh, show you uh, here uh, this this is contact form case form lot lead form. So here uh, this is uh, right now there is no mapping done. Once uh, the mapping is done, then here you can see the first name, last name, job, title, account name. These fields are there. Whenever we are going to create a new lead, then these fields should be auto populated here. Also, uh, here you can see this is text field and here it is text field. This is a uh, lookup. We may be having different kind of fields like uh, multi choice or option set or yes or no. So the thing which we need to consider while mapping is that if we are map if uh, this is single text uh, this first name in contact then here also it should be a single text only and the size also should be same like here if it is of size 100 here also it should be of size 100 it's, if it's more than 100 even if it's 101 then the mapping will not be will not happen also if we if uh, there is an option set option set which is containing the value if it's a fruit containing a b c d and here it is a country containing x y z so if you try to map, then it will then it will not reflect the correct values as the values of the option set are not matching. Whenever we create option set, then on the right side you will be able to see that we have to give some value also. So everything should be matched: the length, the size, the data type, everything. If it's matching, then only the mapping will work correctly. See, this mapping can also be achieved. Uh, see, let me just show you the requirement once. I'm going to create a cont here we have a contact let's go for the Kim and uh, here if I go for related leads we can we can select anything you can create your own custom app and you can attach here that's not a problem this is just for one basic overview if I'm going to create new then here you can see all these fields see already this Kim coach uh, Kim Rocha is already the given name job title email phone number everything is given then why do we need to create here again and again so I'm just going to pre populate it for any of this uh, record this mapping also can be achieved using JavaScript but but in general this uh, field mapping is faster than JavaScript uh, this also requires no code as it is a uh, built-in uh, from built-in in this uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 we do not have to uh, write any code and it runs automatically and also like in some in some uh, situations this field mapping may get slow because if we are trying to map uh, some uh, number of records or if it's some complex thing that time it may get a little bit slow but in general field mapping is faster than JavaScript so coming here uh, if I show you, let's just directly map the fields. So go to advanced setting. See the same thing you can do through uh, Power App as well. Here, if you come here in the contact, first of all, we need to have a relationship. Suppose I am trying to map the field from contact to opportunity, then there should be a relationship either one is to n or n is to n. It should be available. 
then only to, you will be able to map it. If it is not there, then just go for this uh, any of the, this table, go to the relationship, create new relationship, any one is two n or n is two n, whatever. You create the relationship, and in that relationship, we'll be seeing that mapping options available. So right now, let's come here, business, go to your solution. I have created a different solution called mapping. So I'll be showing you the mapping solution. Here it is contact go to contact uh, currently I'm only going to show you for the I'll map from contact to case to lead an opportunity I have already done I'll just show for uh, for some new fields so go for one is to end relationship it's already by default created go to the letter entity and here uh, let's go for lead this one okay See, this is by uh, like out of the box already available here you can also create your own relationships go for the mappings and here you'll be able to see uh, if there is already any mapping available or if you want to create anything then you can just go for the new there are some relationship in which uh, there will not be uh, options to add mapping so you should all you should you need to check that see here this will there are some we have some relationship called as this parental referential and all so we need to check open it which is having mapping there you need to go just click on new then you can see here also it is contact to lead so let's go for first name first name and here also let's map for first name okay go for the new one last name last name and here also last name see here we are getting two boxes this one and this one so this one is basically for the contact contact and this is for the lead whenever uh, this one will when whatever the value we are providing here it will get populated in the lead okay so job title here and here also job title okay so we are going to populate this three field first name last name job title these all are matching now if i show you uh, this account name this is lookup and if i try to uh, suppose this is account and this is lookup data type and if i'm trying to map with uh, any other field uh, let's see it should show some error mapping go for the new and also suppose if see this this uh, first name and last name it is already mapped here and now if you are trying to map it again then here this that field will not be visible first name and here where is it see it's not visible here this is one is to n from here it will be visible but for the need uh, for the lead it is already mapped so it won't be visible now uh, let's see for account okay, here okay this account is option set you can see the type here and now if i try to map it to a uh, email field let's go it for email. email here we have email the see email is single line text see i was telling about the size see here we can see it is of size 100 and if we see somewhere it is size is 200 so suppose if you are trying to map this to now then uh, you will not be able to map it will throw some error so currently let's see for this lookup i have i'm trying to map lookup with the single line text i am if i click ok i think it should show some error okay yeah see invalid field map a field map is invalid field map must yeah these are the requirements the data type as i told the data type should be of the same the length of the target field it cannot be shorter or longer the format should match the target field should not be used in other mapping these are the things which we need to take care and also the the, the field whichever we are trying to map it should be visible on the form so right now let's try uh, let's see now whether it is showing or not 
also uh, there is one uh, option set which i have created option set i'll be showing after this uh, for the option set matching uh, sorry mapping i have already done this one uh, one is fruit here one is fruit and another one is dummy fruit let me just show one first and here you we do not have to publish anything once the mapping is done just go for the save and close so let's come here go for the contacts refresh it and let's open given given and if we see first name is given this one job title is sales manager so if i try to create lead now this three fields should be mapped on its own should be pre-populated okay see you can see that this these three fields are already pre-populated same thing you can do for whatever fields you want just take care of that rules now if i uh, now we have one condition option set see uh, if we are having option set of uh, uh, in contact we are having option set of fruit of uh, a b c d and we are having option set in lead uh, with uh, x y z and if you both are having same option set uh, option set data type but the values in that are different so in the, this case this mapping will not be reflected so it need to have the same value uh, so whenever we try to map the option set first of all we need to we should create global option set and that global option set we should use in the other other field so just in order to make it clear if you come here to the entity you can see option set here of this value this option and here you can create whatever option set you want to make you just create it here i have created for the fruit which is containing value like uh, apple banana mango see this one apple and it is having the value 001 banana this 001 and all two whatever create the create the option set here and then go for uh, go for uh, your field sorry go for the table and here you can just create you can use that global option set so that the value will remain same give any name go for the option set and here use existing option set means you want to use a global option set yes and from here you can choose that whatever your uh, is your option set fruits this one you can choose that's all so here all the value will remain so there will not be any problem during the mapping so right now i'm just going to close it as i have already created this field leave yeah. so here this this field i have used this fruit field into contact as well as lead as well as uh, in other also which is global set and in order to show if you are trying to map uh, with the different different values in the option set then it will not be mapped to show that also i have created another field in contact let's come here go to contact okay and here there should be a field called dummy okay. display name come here okay here i have created the field called dummy this one which is having item item 2 item 3 item 4 these are the values okay same thing i have done for in the lead as well i have created another option set inside this so it should be fruits dummy okay here we have see if you can see this fruit I, I showed you in the global option set in this option set I have I have created that fruit here as well as another lead dummy which is uh, basically created here only without using the global option set so in this fruit lead dummy the values are different like uh, 
what is that it is having same uh, apple banana avocado orange and mango there are five so in this case it, it will not be mapped with the correct data so let's just come here i have already mapped this also if you go to one is to n relations uh, go to here related go to lead and now you can see this fruits this fruits contact this both are the same using global option set but this one i have created locally in inside that uh, what do you call inside that table so this one should not be pre-populated sorry it will be pre-populated but with the simply whatever the option is available there first option and this one will be reflecting correctly so just save and close let's cut it let's come here go to any other contact now dawning Bam. and uh, let's give the name here power dynamics and job title let it be youtuber and fruits i am selecting avocado so it should be reflected correctly now this one should not get reflect correctly item 3 i am selecting the save it let's go create lead okay so here you can see fruit lead is showing here correctly first name power dynamics youtube and one more field was there dummy okay this is quick create form that's why it's not showing but in the main form it should show save and close give the name it should show some wrong value whatever is there ah uh, yes see it is showing here what is it fruits dummy there it we had selected as item 3 but here it is showing avocado simply it will show what uh, it's taking some wrong value it's not showing the correct value that's all and i have also if you go to the contact same uh, mapping i have done for the uh, opportunity case also so if we open any contact and if you try to try to create any case just go for the new case and you'll be able to see the fruit is being auto populated sorry one minute i think it's already okay, one minute summary color okay fruits is let's change it to orange save go to case let's create a new case Okay. and here we have fruits selected as orange so this is all about uh, field mapping uh, if, if we come to conclusion we can say that this field mapping is an useful feature in dynamics 365 which which not simply simplify the process uh, of data entering and uh, it improves our uh, productivity as well it helps us to save the time increase our uh, what you call the efficiency and all helps help to remove the errors reduce the errors those things can be achieved by field mapping also uh, in some cases uh, we need to have some certain security roles provided so that we should be able to do this mapping and uh, advantages like time saving data accuracy consistency customization those only so that's all for today thank you bye bye